Hi, afternoon. I'm Dennis. I'm the IT Pro Evangelist for Microsoft Singapore, and I'm very excited to tell you today that you can actually land your hands on one of these copies of Windows 7, Build 7000 Public Beta. If you are a TechNet or MSDN subscriber, you can download it from the subscription site. And I'll search around Microsoft.com. The downloads are freely available. Uh, but what I want to tell you today is not about the DVD. Something very fun and something very exciting that I want to tell you how you can actually faster deploy uh, the Windows 7. Uh, I have one of these copy uh, of very light machine here. Uh, it's the MSI, MSI U100. It's got an Atom processor and two gigs of RAM. Now, if you have the Azus, Azutech um, eBox or EPC, which is having similar processor, but it's only got one gig of RAM, now, they are capable of running Windows 7. Now, just to show it to you, see, Windows 7. Now, uh, the installation didn't take very long. It took me about 20 to 30 minutes uh, here, if I remember correctly. But one of the bigger trouble here, if you notice from either side of this machine, there's no DVD drive. Yes, so if you do not have DVD drive, how do you get Windows 7 into it? Pretty simple, all right? Now, you have two choices. One of those choices that you have is this. Yeah, the big ones. Well, this is the hardcore geeky type. Or you can buy the um, slim DVD-ROM drive that you can attach via USB. I prefer this since it's really cheap for me because one of the adapters that I have is just to change the connector at the back and I can just simply plug it in and use the USB drive, uh, the USB port. Now, all I need to do is to boot up the netbook with this. Now, there's actually a better choice. Now, is this choice is one of the slower ones. The faster choice is to have Win 7 loaded on a thumb drive. Here I have a 4 gig thumb drive, which I'm going to show you in the video next, how to create this drive. All I need to do is actually to plug it up to the machine while it's powered off, power on, boot off the drive, and I can have Win 7 installed as if it's installed from the DVD. It's a very simple process, it takes about 20 minutes to prepare the disk, and installation is a lot faster as compared to using the optical drive. All right? So let's see the video and see how it's done. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's take a look at how we are going to load the Win 7 um, installation bits onto a USB drive. One utility we have to pick up is something called this part, D-I-S-K-P-A-R-T. This, will, this will be the disk partitioning tool that will actually help us do the disk partitioning and prepare our USB drive to be bootable for a system to start up the installation for Win 7. So I'm going to go ahead and use this command called list disk to show what are the disks I have now. Now this very moment I'm going to stick my thumb drive in and I repeat the command again. You will be able to see I have a 4 gig thumb drive right now. So I'm going to go ahead and say select this one and the next step is to clean it. Now before you do this, uh, make sure you have no data that you need onto the drive because this will basically wipe out every single thing in there. Right? So cleaning is done. I'm going to create a partition and set a primary partition to it. Now once this is done, I need to map or rather um, um, and put it, uh, mark it as active. All right. Now once it's active, the next step to do because it's currently the selected partition, I need to load up a file system that's FAT32 and I'm not going to wait for formatting, so I'm going to do a quick format. Done. I'm going to assign a drive letter to it, so I can simply go over to the Explorer, which I should see as G drive right now. I also have the um, installation uh, bits onto, on the DVD, so what I'll do is I'll drag everything in to the thumb drive. Now, once the copy is complete, when it's done, we will have a thumb drive with uh, installation bits of Windows 7 on it ready to boot off, say things like netbook or any machines without a DVD drive. Uh, just to let you know, it really loads a lot faster than an optical drive. All right, so I'm, I'm not going to wait through this, um, so we'll see what happens when it's done and we'll test it out. Alright, so that was a very quick uh, view of how to get it done, step by step.
pretty easy, eh? Never expect you can do it. Now just to test the fruits of our action. So this thumb drive, I'm going to stick it into the box. I'm not going to move the camera since I'm the one alone here. Now I've stuck it in, I'm going to power on the machine. Now remember, a very important thing is to have it boot up off the USB drive. The BIOS of this machine has been configured so that it boots off the USB drive. Win 7 is just going to load straight away to the setup files. Just give him a moment, it's going to come up very, very soon. Now you'll notice if you do it with the DVD-ROM drive next to it, these steps proves to be a lot faster. And there you go, it's loading. So there we have it. We have started the installation of a USB drive. Now I hope you get your copy of Windows 7 uh, build 7000 and have a chance at beta testing it. It's really fun and it's off. Uh, it's awesome. All right now, so get it installed. Get your hands on it. If you like it and you want to try it on a notebook or a netbook, I would say, go ahead and do it just like what Linda did. Win seven, you can have it too.